Hi, this is Presh Talwalkar. In this video, I'm going to discuss the magic numbers 495 and 6174, which are known as the Kupricker constants. Although these numbers are quite ordinary, I'm going to show you how all three-digit numbers are related to 495 and how all four-digit numbers are related to 6174. We'll start out with three-digit numbers. Let's take a number like 927. We're going to go through a series of steps to show you how this number is related to 495. The first step in the procedure is we're going to rearrange the digits of 927 to make the largest number we can. And if we do that, the largest number we can make is 972. On the flip side, we're going to rearrange the digits to make the smallest number we can. And when we rearrange these digits, the smallest number we can make is 279. And what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the smaller number from the larger number. And we end up with 693. From our result 693, we're going to repeat the process. So we'll make the largest number we can, 963 and we'll make the smallest number we can from those same digits. Subtracting the two numbers, we get 594. Once again, we'll repeat the process to make the largest and smallest numbers and subtract them. And we've ended up with the result 495. And once you get to the result 495, when you rearrange the digits to make the largest and smallest numbers, you keep staying at 495. So we've taken a number, 927, and we've ended up with the, the number 495. And once we're at this number 495, we keep staying at that number. The interesting part is this is going to work for any, almost any three digit number. We'll do another example, 123. We rearrange the digits to make the largest and smallest numbers. And we subtract the two numbers. And we're going to repeat the process. And we keep repeating the process. And once again, we are going to end up at the number 495. So this process of rearranging the digits to be the largest number possible and the smallest number possible, subtracting the two and repeating, gets us to 495. This will even work with numbers that include a zero. So 420, the smallest number we can make is 024, and our result is 396. And when we repeat this process, we once again end up at 495. And so that's what's special about the number 495. Whenever you start with a three-digit number, as long as the three digits are not all the same, you go through the steps of arranging the digits to make the largest and smallest numbers. You take the smaller number from the larger number and you keep repeating this over and over and eventually you will always get 495. And it's quite amazing because 495 doesn't strike you as a number that you've heard before in math class, but this will always happen. You'll always end up with the same number of 495. Quite interestingly, there's a similar number for four-digit numbers. So let's start out with 2, 3, 4, 5. If we make the largest number possible and the smallest number possible, we subtract the smaller from the larger, and we keep repeating this process, eventually we're going to get to 6174. And once we're at that number, we'll keep staying at that number over and over again. So 6174 is the four digit magical number and it works exactly the same way. You start out with any four digit number, you make the largest and smallest numbers, you subtract the smaller from the larger, and you keep repeating and you will always end up at 6174. So it's a pretty neat trick. You can try it out with any examples you want. You will eventually get to, for the three digit numbers, 495, and the four digit numbers, 6174.
I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can also catch me at my blog, Mind Your Decisions, or on Twitter at Prashtal Walker.